The Sub220 Marathon Project video series is supported by four awesome brands that I'm working very closely with in this marathon build-up. The main sponsor of this video series is Saw Running, based out of the UK. I've been a huge fan of Saw for over 18 months now since discovering them a couple of years ago, and I've been using their gear in training and racing ever since. Saw have just recently partnered with Sweat Elite on creating a Sweat Elite racing vest. And I actually do this training session in this episode in the Sweat Elite training vest. So you can check that out while I'm training with it. And you can order your own Sweat Elite training vest at the links in the description of this video. They have limited numbers at this stage. We've only produced 250 and we're about half sold out at this point in just the first week. So do grab yours at the link in this video if you're interested in buying it. I'm also a huge fan of Saw's other racing vests and also their marathon shorts that can store many gels in their gel compartments. I've stored up to six very comfortably and also their training tights. You can see all of Saw's gear at the link in the description and I highly recommend checking them out and you support Sweat Elite and Saw by purchasing at the Saw website. The second sponsor of this video series is Top 4 Running, one of Europe's fastest growing retail stores based out of Europe. I have been testing shoes for Top 4 Running for almost a year now and they stock all of the latest brands, latest models of the biggest brands at the lowest prices and you can score a further discount on already very low prices by using the code Sweat Elite at checkout. And by using this code and buying your shoes at Top 4 Running, you're supporting Sweat Elite as well as we earn a very small kickback on all sales. So if you have a pair of trainers or racers in mind right now, we highly recommend checking out the Top 4 Running website to see if you can score the lowest price there and also use that discount code while you're at it. The third sponsor of this video series is Precision Fuel and Hydration, the fueling partner of Sweat Elite. I have been using their products for this marathon buildup and it has honestly been a bit of a game changer. I've been using their carb mix, their carb chews, their caffeine gels and their regular gels. And I've been basically experimenting this buildup with over fueling in my own words by having an, almost an excessive amount of carbohydrates, at least for me from what I'm compared to, in and around my workout. So just before, during and after. And I believe it's made a huge difference to my training and racing. I recently ran a PB over the half marathon, personal best of 106. And I took a gel on the start line, a precision fuel caffeine gel. And I've been using their gels and chews and also carb mix in pretty much all training sessions over the last few months. I strongly recommend checking out precision fuel and hydration. And you can score a 15% off discount if you use the link in the description of this video. So do utilize that discount if you're interested in buying gels and carb mixes in the near future. The fourth sponsor of this video series is Pillar Performance, a relatively new brand that's growing very quickly out of Australia that make triple magnesium powder that I've been using to supplement my recovery. And also it's been a bit of a game changer also for my sleep. I have a hard time sleeping consistently when I'm traveling a lot, changing beds and environments all the time. But the Pillar Performance triple magnesium supplement has really helped in that department and it also tastes really good. I find myself just sipping on it almost all day. Uh, I better be careful about how much I take of that I guess but uh, I'm really enjoying their triple magnesium powder and also their vitamin B supplement that I take every morning. Uh, it's really helping with energy, with mental focus as well and I've heard many other athletes including Jan Fredeno who's involved with Pillar Performance find benefits in using their product. So a huge thank you to Pillar Performance for supporting this video series as well. This is Monte Gordo. It looks beautiful and sunny, but it's actually really freezing. It's like uh, three degrees Celsius. Uh, 40, maybe 40 Fahrenheit, but it's still beautiful. The 3 k warm up, then we'll get into it. How's the warm Good, so 3K, just under two miles. Um, it's, pretty, it's, cold. Yeah, it's cold, but I love it. It's perfect for me, really. In fact, this is probably perfect marathon weather. It's like three degrees. Well, this guy's ambitious. Look at him; he's got shorts on. I mean, so do I. But I reckon I want. I reckon we're the only two people out there with shorts on. 
Um, yeah, three degrees Celsius, 39 Fahrenheit. Switching to the Prime X. Uh, yeah, just a great training tool. I said this in the last episode, just always using it for training. I don't think they're faster than the Alpha Fly for me anyway. They're about the same. Nick, I would even, you know what, after wearing the Alpha Fly the other day in the half, I reckon Alpha Fly's actually faster for me. I just felt like they're, because they're lighter. And I don't think these are more springy, but these are just great because they're so durable. They last so long. I reckon I've done 400k and they're still really good. So, so yeah, switch to this. I'm gonna have a gel. Uh, in fact, I'll do that right now. Uh, one of the caffeine gels. And good to go, 15 by K. 90 seconds rest. Don't know what pace we'll run, we'll see. Yeah, um, not a sponsor, and I've, I've done a bit of a patch-up job, but uh, I've been using the Super Sapiens glucose monitor uh, just to see what my system responds to, I guess, with taking in different things and stabilizing the glucose and the carbohydrates in training. It's normally got a prettier patch, but the patch uh, keeps falling off, so I've just been taping it that way. So, yeah, it's all on my phone. Um, I might show that in a future episode, but uh, Elia Kipchoge uses one uh, in training. And at first, no one really fully understood uh, what they were. <laughs> hey, Jill. What they were using. <laughs> Jill, what? I was actually supposed to train with her yesterday, but she's unfortunately um, got a little injury at the moment. But um, yeah, so I wasn't fully understanding what they were what they were doing with the with the glucose monitor, like how it works. But it's just to see how you can stabilize your sugar levels and your carbohydrates. And your timing of food what sort of foods you respond to, because people respond differently to different things. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting stuff for sure. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've been using. on That's, that's what that is on my arm. Um, I did have a black patch there, but it, it, it kept falling off because I'm, I'm sweating so much. That it's... But, yeah, so, okay, so four, we're, we're gonna do 15 by K, two what, that way, other side of the road, two this way. This is a perfectly, pretty much dead flat road. Uh, we're gonna do two by K that way, two by K back, because this road's about 2.2 K long. And then we're going to do, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If I get that far, hopefully I get to 15. Should be fine. I feel pretty good and the weather's pretty good, so we'll just see. It's pretty, pretty much exactly what I would have what I wanted for the first. So see how we go from here. 14 to go. <laughs> so the weather is like absolutely perfect. Starting at like threshold effort sort of thing. Uh, maybe yeah, threshold effort, and then just working down after eight to ten. So. I'll probably try and stay right around here. 306, 307, 308 for a while, and then see what I've got. All right, 25 seconds. Two. Three oh four, three oh four, last two. So three oh eight, three three oh seven, four four. Yeah, feeling good. Keep it at this for a while. There we go. Two, three, and three. Last two. Yeah, damn. Now it's a part of the workout. That's like I got ten to go. <laughs> I 
So yeah, the next five will be a bit tough mentally then. Then we'll be good. First three minute K there on the uh, seventh. I've lost count. Seven, yeah. Three minutes. I've just I've learned though, even though I've run here a lot, it's not dead flat. It's close to flat, but there's <laughs> the K's aren't even. Like this one is a little uphill. The first one. You'll see on I think Strava will show it actually because it's minimal, but my K's are fluctuating by a few seconds because it's actually not flat, so but it's pretty damn close. And the weather's perfect, so this is not a complaint, by the way. <laughs> so I'm going to have some of this in the middle of the workout, almost halfway. How do your legs feel after the half? Yeah, good. Fine. Meters. Number nine. I thought that was the last up here, but it's not because I'm going to get 10, 11, 12, so the 13th one will be the hardest. <laughs> that was like 30, I think 302. So really good up the five meter hill, roughly. Five to go. Yeah, 12 down, good drink, uh, 3 to go, 302 I think that was, 301, yeah, just great workout, I don't really care exactly what the paces is, paces are right now, just around that 3 minute mark, it's perfect, it feels good, it feels like a bit faster than threshold, and yeah, 3 to go, so it's well until under control, which is really nice, we'll be the other way. Fourteen down. Super good. I feel like um, I could probably do probably do twenty at three minutes, which is a really good sign. I mean, I didn't expect that, um, but I'm only going to do one more. I'm slightly uphill, but not much. And I'm going to try to stick to three minutes, which is about a six, seven meter, five, seven meter <coughs> elevation gain, roughly. This stuff's really helping. Like, I don't need it now, like at the end of the workout, but just practicing the gut. <coughs> 20. Last one. Done.
time. These ladies thought it was very funny then. I was waiting for you. No, you have you have wheels. Yeah, we're sharing the sharing the bike path with the ladies, but yeah, 259 to finish off up the hill. Small rise. Um, yeah, stoked for that. Just really happy. I guess my average was about 301, 302, and I thought it'd be like 305. So yeah. Stoked. On to the next. We'll do a <coughs> do a three take pull down and uh, get recovering. So we're done. Longest, uh, well, not the longest workout of the block, but probably the most intense. Um, so today, yeah, 15k worth of work at, uh, you know, threshold to VO2 max. Let's go, boys! I'm running with these guys on Sunday. Um, they're doing 30k, I'll probably do 40k. Uh, the pace is pretty fast, we'll see what happens. Um, and then I got to the mountains of Morocco for 10 days. Uh, yeah, I said earlier, um, 2,600 meters altitude, seven, almost 8,000 feet, I think that is. So that'll be interesting. I've never been there, and it's a new altitude loca location that I've just learned about, so yeah, we'll see how it is. I'm keen to show you guys some video from up there. Um, thanks for watching, and huge thanks once again to the sponsors of the series. Yeah, I'm so fortunate to have Saw, Top for Running, Precision Fuel and Hydration, who saved me today. They really, like, this fueling thing is a real deal. Like, it's, <laughs> I almost feel like in previous marathon builds, I missed out in a weird way, I, I, like as crazy as that sounds because I didn't understand how much fueling helps. I was taking in carbs like between every second rep then pretty much. And it just, yeah, after 14, I feel like I could have done, done six more if I needed to. It wouldn't have been easy, but I think I could have. So yeah, so Precision Fuel and Hydration, thank you so much for, for backing Sweat Elite and myself and Pillar Performance who, yeah, just really loving their, their supplements as well. So. Thank you guys for watching, really appreciate it. We're nearly there. Now it's, I was saying just before that it's now mostly about injury prevention, I think, because uh, I think I'm fit enough to run 217. I just have to be careful and not get injured and keep turning up, so fingers crossed.